Hey everyone, uh, it has been a very wet week. As you saw in the last video, we had lots of snow. So then all that snow melted. The, snow, the sun was out for a couple days last week, but this week has just been nothing but rain. A little bit earlier, I'll, I'll show you what we just did. Um, I couldn't record it, it was kind of hectic. We were trying to get it done, but we uh, cleaned out the pig pen. Uh, it was getting super wet and mucky out there, so cleaned it all out and uh, cleaned all their poop out and everything and piled it up uh, somewhere else and then we um, just got it cleaned up for them. So I'm gonna go out here and show that to y'all and then after that, I'm uh, gonna cut some soap. So let's do this. All right, so I will show y'all what we just got through doing here. I got a little, almost soaked to the skin doing it, but here's what we got going on. I don't have a before shot, unfortunately. I didn't have my phone on me because I didn't want it to get wet, but it was super wet in here and mucky. So we uh, uh, shoveled it all out, put it in the wheelbarrow, and then we wheeled it out to, you can see it, right there. That is a start of our new compost pile. You can use um, with that is after some time, you can actually put it in your garden and it makes great fertilizer. We're gonna start doing that, try that out. Sounds like a good use of waste. So we're gonna do that. Alfalfa, Spanky, and Darla look pretty happy now. Uh, we gave them some food. So that's what we worked on this morning. And so now I'm gonna go take y'all back inside and try to stay out of this rain and try to stay dry. So here we go. Just got the cutter cleaned off and I actually had the awesome privilege of making the soap for the first time. Like, well, I had dir clear direction. What we have here is lavender and just plain. We uh, sell a lot of lavender. So even though we have some on our shelf still left over, um, we went ahead and made some more because it is a big seller. Uh, and so is just plain. So let's get these cut. plain that's now carrying and they'll be ready on the 21st of February and uh, also cut up some Cuban tobacco soaps that are used for 
uh, as shaving soap. And then, uh, yep, carrying racks are looking pretty stocked, so that's always a good thing. So usually after a batch of soap is made, or even both, I'll go ahead and clean off, scrape off the soap off of the off of the pieces here and I'll go ahead and clean them and sterilize them and get the the scent off or at least for the lavender because the just plain doesn't have a scent and then I'll go ahead and clean those up and put it back together so that it's easier for the next time we go to make another batch of soap so so for the next several minutes we'll be washing dishes the fun part we got all the pieces cleaned up and now we're gonna put them back together and uh, it can be kind of challenging but I'm gonna try to do it without any of them dropping so we'll see how it goes Here is the next pen we're going to clean out. Hopefully we'll get it looking better. Okay, this is as far as we got for today to get this stall cleaned out. And here we are, it's the next day. Uh, got all of that mucky poop out of here. Sprinkled some of this down. It's supposed to help with the smell of it. Uh, and then put some fresh hay down. And then uh, soon we'll be moving our bigger goats into this area. We're going to build a fence out here. Hopefully today if we have time. And so that's what I've been working on this morning. Well, all right, we've reached the end of this vlog for this week. Uh, and we got some happy goats here. This is Ava and this is Allie. They are the only two Sonnen goats that we have. And they're a lot bigger than our Nigerian dwarf goats. They got a shelter over there and they got their little area here that we cleaned up for them so so yeah uh, that's the end of this vlog thank you for watching and uh hopefully next week we'll have another one up for you guys thanks